everyone, the title of this vlog is The Possessive Pleasure Plunge. Pleasure and happiness are very different. They can be interconnected, but they are completely different subjects. Happiness always comes with health, physical, mental, emotional, psychological maturity and health and homeostasis. Pleasure, on the other hand, is usually impulsive, usually a hormonal call, usually short-lived and usually does not come out of maturity. When we are talking about a possessive pleasure plunge, what we are here trying to say is that we all usually and generally want to possess things people which is pathetic situations where we get pleasure from possessing them now when we say that we want to possess them what are we who is the i who is the person getting identified with who wants to possess the pleasure we usually think that the pleasure is coming from something, someone or some situation which is really wrong. We are producing pleasure. But because of our immature set mind and very very primitive thoughts, concepts, ideologies, feelings, emotions and our very very pathetically unfit physical body, we process programs like pleasure in reference of something or someone else or some situation and have a mythical experience, a very very hallucinated experience that the other thing, the other person or the other person is the source of pleasure or even happiness for that matter. We have to understand that pleasure is made by our body and brain where mind plays a very important role. Let's not get into what mind plays a role in this for this particular vlog. That possessiveness comes from that ego. That identification comes from that ego. That ego can be masculine or can be feminine. But if you want to possess a pleasure which you are plunging into without your heads, spines or any connection with reality too, then you are going to invite another very important word which starts with P which stands for pain. Please understand possessiveness may not ever help you. Second point, which is a very fundamental question. Let's say if we are making pleasure with our body brain in reference of the chemicals or the hormones, who told us that if we are wanting or making pleasure, we have to go and plunge for it? That's a big question. Who told us that we have to do something in reference of pleasure? If we are making pleasure within ourselves, why not just be with it? As the pleasure arises, enjoy it and it may fade away. Enjoy that as well. Why do we want to wire ourselves to do something about that pleasure which is made by our body and brains? In other words, are we actually mindful or having a different identity from the wiring or are we simply a living organism who is wired just the wiring for pleasure? This is a question we all have to answer. Take care.